this topic, you'll be able to understand the transaction matching process. The matching process as a whole consists of pairing account postings in order to analyze an account balance on a given date. Matching allows reconciliation of collective accounts and to apply outstanding or unapplied debits or credit transactions to open items. Matching is based on defined collective accounts. However, in APAR accounting module, transactions recorded for customer and supplier accounts of open items are automatically matched. An example of this are payments posted directly against the invoice but the matching process refers to unapplied payments and credits and could involve transactions applied incorrectly. Now matching these transactions can be done through manual matching where you select the site, ledger, collective account, business partner, and date range to include transactions to match. Or automatic matching where transactions are scanned in specific collective accounts including a single site, collective account, company, ledger, business partner, and a date range to automatically match transactions. And it may be necessary to unmatch transactions that are matched incorrectly. Now you have an understanding of the transaction matching process and its purpose. Now let's take a look at the matching process. You're at period end. And after running reports and inquiries, you determine that there's some debits and credit invoices in accounts receivable that need matching. You can use automatic matching, but you wanted to make sure that credits apply to the appropriate invoices, so you decided to use manual matching. So we go to the Financials module, the Matching block, and Manual Matching. Here you enter the criteria. As you can see, the site is required. The account number is also required, and we make a selection, and our selection is going to be our accounts receivable account. We also select our business partner. As you can see, that is also required. Now, we don't have to enter a date, but we, at the end of period, we only want to cover a specific range of dates. In the right panel, you can see there's the search option to be able to search. You can see what's come up are results. You can see the columns for debits and credits. Now you also have additional functions. You have matched, which actually pulls up previously matched transactions in manual matching, or could be automatic matching. Now you can also make an option of selecting automatic matching at this point to automatically match. You can also enter criteria as well as search by amount if there are multiple or many transactions that you need us to search to find it. You can also reverse a selection. So we can see the transactions here. We want to make sure that we match the correct uh, transactions. We can see a $1,500 credit and a $1,500 debit. Let's go ahead and match those transactions. You can see the color has changed to green now that they're matched. Also, let's go ahead and match the $3,500 debit against the $3,500 credit. And you can see they're matched as well. Now, once you've made your selections, you can see what options are available here. There's matching, which actually matches them together. After the matching, you see what happens is that a two character letters are added. It starts off with A, goes to B, and so forth when they're matched. So now they're actually matched together. If you find that you've made an error in matching, you can also go to unmatching to match transactions that have been matched incorrectly by the customer or if it could be a situation where it was a supplier as well. So now you've learned the process of matching, including manual, automatic, and also unmatching.